Hey YouTube, I am feeling pretty darn good today. It's still kind of late in the evening. I've had a busy day. Um, last night's video, I I just I mentioned uh, uh, dealing with a uh, inspector on a project. Today we went out and we corrected the issues that he wanted us to fix, which they're not real issues. They're just nitpicky changes that. He didn't make, but the one before him did. So we got a, it was, got one inspector telling you to do something, and you got the next one saying, no, you can't do that. And all you can do is say, yes, sir. So anyway, after that, I helped uh, the neighbor. Uh, we moved his, uh, he was been, he's been a, he's been a mechanic. He's been working at the same place for 30 years, 30 Five, forty, geez, I don't know, a long time. He's been there for a long time. And uh, anyway, he's finally retiring and he needed help getting his tools back to his house. So, anyway, what are we doing today? Uh, a couple different things. Uh, there, there's news on the power hammer. I've, uh, and, I, and I'm looking at something and I'm going to start planning something. We're just going to hit that real brief. The other thing is, I, it, 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 there comes a time in every man's life where he has to commit. And I am going to bolt my anvil to the ground. So, uh, yeah, it's those of you that are familiar with my riveted anvil stand that I made last year, year before, I don't even know how long ago it was. All these years run together anymore, so uh, no, it, uh, it's very solid except it likes to scoot around on the floor. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and bolt it right where it sets. And yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm going to bolt the anvil down and we're going to talk about the power hammer. So let's get started. So no matter what I do, there's going to be a mistake made. That is where my forge sets now. I don't actually have a place for the um, propane forge, and yeah, I don't know if I want to make a place for it, but you know, who knows. And I am currently, so this is if I'm in front of the solid fuel, I turn around, there's the anvil. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of magic distance from the forge, but I kind of like it just where I turn around and there it is. So I think I'm going to fiddle around with it a little bit and, you know, kind of go through the motions and I think I'll just get an idea where exactly I want it, mark the floor, we'll get the concrete hammer drill thing out and we're going to put some holes in the ground and some bolts and yeah, it's going to be simple and easy, but uh, hopefully it'll be simple and easy. Anyway, yeah, that's what I want to do, though. That's that's where we're going to, that's how I'm going to identify where I want it, is I'm just going to wing it. Using these three eighths by three and three quarter inch uh, wedge anchors, uh, mostly because that's what I've got, and they're probably longer than I need. They're not too too long, I don't think, but they uh, uh, you don't need real big because I just need it to keep from shearing, and there's no way I could shear one of these off by hand. So, you know, I'll put four of them in the ground, and or I don't know, maybe I'll no, I'll be putting more than that. Looks like I'm putting six. So, anyway, that's what I'm using. Alright, there's uh, 
four of the holes in my little mounting plates on my feet, I can't get the drill in to drill it while it sets in place. So I'm just going to take a, a center punch that's, I don't know, it's cobbled out of something I made for something else. I just kind of repointed it. Um, and I'm just going to center punch the concrete like I would if it were a piece of metal. So. Hopefully that'll leave a mark that I can find when I slide the anvil out of the way. And just like that, the anvil is bolted to the ground and will not move. And I'll probably regret putting it there. <laughs> uh, some of you may or may not have noticed when I was drilling the holes, I went all the way through the slab. There's a reason. Um, that reason is when the day comes that I want to remove this, I don't have to cut the bolts off. I undo the nuts, lift the hammer, or I... There are a couple of ways I can do this, actually, but I undo the nuts, and I can actually just take a pin, and I can drive those into the ground. I don't have to worry about them. I just drive them all the way through the concrete into the ground underneath, and then they're just gone. So that's why I drilled all the way through. So anyway, I want to shift our attention to the Easy Health Power Hammer. Uh, I really ought to be doing this on a different video entirely because of the way I've been categorizing things, uh, you know, as far as putting things in playlists. I don't know if this will make it to that playlist. I, I'm not sure yet, but um, the parts, uh, I've got an invoice. i got to go pay it. Um, no, they've been, they've been delightful to work with. Uh, the delays have been, uh, they're moving. You know, it's a new owner. He's moving the stuff from the old place to the new place, and uh, they're in transition like that, and then there's... Um, the other issue is uh, it's the middle of winter here. And, well, it doesn't feel like it. I've got to beat a sweat. It was 78 today. That's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for those of you that, uh, for those countries that haven't been to the moon, um, it's what does that work out to? 30 something? I don't know. I, I don't do that. I don't do the conversion in my head. I. I have Google. Anyway, um, I just need to get that paid for, and they should be on their way. And what he's shipping me is a new spring, the toggle arms, uh, dies, die keys, and some rods. The rest of the stuff we're going to have to fabricate. 
And one of those items that I just have had a heck of a time isolating what it really is, and I don't actually have, I didn't get permission to share the photos, so I'm probably, I, I, I won't be sharing them here. I should probably get permission so I can share them. But he sent me photos of what uh, one of these parts looked like, and I don't have it, and he doesn't have it, and it may be kind of a challenge to make it or have it made. I don't know. It, it just depends on what we can get away with. But let me show you some clues. Now, this is just an update. We're not going to get anything done with this. This is just me more or less thinking out loud. But this is the arm for the, the hammer, the hell hammer uh, arm. And this pivot point uh, was locked in place between these two plates. Now, what I, my machine came with is this decidedly um, rigged bit of, uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. But what we notice, what they sent me was a photo of how this is supposed to be. And what it appears to be is a, uh, a type of axle bolt. Now an axle bolt works where it'll have the diameter of a shaft that's so big, so long, it'll have a hard edge and then it'll be threaded and the threads will actually be significantly smaller. And the reason I'm going there is the bore on this is about an inch and a half. The bore through here is about an inch and a half. The bore through here, uh, about an inch and a quarter maybe. I, it, they're wallered out, so they're, they're, they're definitely damaged. He sent me a picture of one, and it has a bolt thread sticking out, and somebody's measured it, and it's like one and an eighth inches. So what I'm thinking is that it was some sort of an axle bolt, except it doesn't have a hex head. The larger bore in this plate has a little notch. Now this notch was full of crud, and I just now found it a little bit ago. So I have a feeling that what this did was this... The original member, the original bolt that went through had a head and it had a little little uh, bump on it, like a little for a, a, a key, basically. And, you know, I've seen these things before and I'm sure they've got a name, but I, I have no idea what it is. But um, anyway, what it did was this end was keyed into this notch and then the other end was smaller. And that way you could... The, the shoulder of the, of, the, of the larger diameter probably came up against this plate and then you tightened the, uh, the nut and, and what it did was it tightened the nut against its own shoulder and it maintained the gap here so that it didn't pinch on that, on that arm. That's going to be our that's going to be our challenge for something to find and or make. Everything else I think is going to be pretty straightforward up until the point we get to where we need to find a motor, which finding a motor for it, um, I'm going to look for a three-phase motor. I have three-phase at this house, and we're actually uh, planning on pulling three-phase into the garage. I don't have three-phase in the garage, but uh, I'm going to look for it calls for, their website says that for this hammer, it works best with a two horsepower uh, motor, and I'm gonna see if I can find one. Uh, I would love to find an older two horsepower motor that you know kind of looks like something vintage. I don't really want some farm duty uh, lease on motor that's you know from tractor supply or something. I'd like to find something kind of cool looking. So. That may take some time, and I may not in, I may not be in a hurry for that, but uh, yeah, it's just a little update on the uh, power hammer, and I thought I'd share it with you. So that's where we're at. That's all we're doing for tonight. I just wanted to get this anvil finally bolted down to the ground. I'm sure it will destroy the concrete right there. It's just a thin slab. It's not even very good quality concrete. It doesn't appear anyway, because there's areas where I'm, I'm sure it was poured in 1948. Uh, but there's areas where it's, it spalls off and, and uh, yeah, so it may not last very long here and we may end up having to cut a bad broken section out of the floor, but for now it should work just fine. 
I also wanted to, you know, we wanted to update you on the power hammer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comments, questions, put them down there in the uh, thing below the video. Subscribe if you're not. Uh, and yeah, until next time. Bye. Here's a question for those of you who have stayed till the end. Power hammer. Should I keep it or should I sell it? I don't know if I really want to keep it. I don't know if I really want to let it go. <laughs> let me know your thoughts.